tickets, please. Mr. Conductor, you were playing hide and seek this morning. And you should have seen how good Dad was at hiding. He used camouflage. That's a big new word Mom taught us. I bet you know all about it. Your mom is absolutely right. Thanks. And yes, I do know about camouflage. All of these animals use their body color to blend into their surroundings. It helps them survive by hiding from predators. You know, creatures who want to eat them. And that is camouflage. Camouflage. Blending in with the stuff behind you so predators won't be able to find you. <laughs> that was amazing, Tiny. Good Good job. Job. Look, buddy, all those creatures are hiding just like Dad did back at the nest. Except they're doing it even better. We can't see them at all. Hmm, a butterfly, a lizard, and a bird. But none of them are dinosaurs. Mr. Conductor, are there any dinosaurs who use camouflage? Oh, but of course. They're just usually not big dinosaurs. It'd be pretty hard to hide Laura Giganotosaurus or Ned Brachiosaurus, cause, well, <laughs> they're really big. <laughs> but this little dinosaur, called Lesotosaurus, is one of the best ever at using camouflage. So, Lesotosaurus are light brown with dark brown stripes. And they can hide really well? That's what I've heard. Maybe someday we can see a Lesotosaurus. Or try to see one, cause they can hide so well. Well, you're in luck because I know there's a Lesotosaurus family who lives at the next stop. <gasps> Mom? Hmm, a dinosaur family who we've never met and who are really good at hiding. Using camouflage. What? How can I say no? I can't. Let's go on an expedition. Yeah! <laughs> it's that time. Time tunnel. Time tunnel approaching. Ooh. Dinosaur train. Dinosaur train. Once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Tyrannodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said,